Your unit three risk assessment assignment is requires you to complete a series of tasks um, specific to a situation that is provided to you. So task one, you need to look at this image and identify four hazards in the image below where that could result in somebody hurting themselves, essentially. So under hazard one, just explain what you can see. Hazard two, another example, hazard three, and then hazard four. Once you've identified the four hazards, which there may be more than four, but you need to identify four, you need to choose one of these hazards. And in this example, you need to identify what the different stages of a risk assessment are. So in this example, for, um, if you were to pick up on an example here where there's a trip hazard for the cable, that could be hazard one as well as your other hazards that you'll identify but under hazard one you then need to identify the five stages now what say what those five stages are but you will find them in your unit three manual and you'll then need to explain what you would do at each stage for the hazard that you have identified above so you just need to say what the hazard is um here and then explain the different stages and then how that should then how that hazard and that risk can be managed if we then move on, there's an example here of a treadmill. Now, the picture is limited. You can't see the full treadmill. So in regards to here, where, the, where it's asking about, the, is the electronic display clear? Is the treadmill moving smoothly? Um, are the seat adjustments secure, etc.? If you can't see them, then take it for granted that it is working fine. However, what you can see, hopefully, is that there is an issue around the electrical cable. So that's where we want you to identify that and then answer the remaining columns where appropriate. And then finally, you need to complete a written handover to pass on to the next fitness instructor on shift. In addition to the faulty equipment that you've identified above, you need to make him or her aware of an induction that is booked in at 11 a.m a class that has been cancelled at 10.30 a.m. and what has and has not been cleaned during your shift. So a little bit of role playing scenario, but imagine you're going to be handing over to a colleague, you know, put hi, put bye, explain um, what's gone up above with the treadmill, explain that the induction and the situation around the class and then explain what may or may not have been cleaned. So again, that, that that's your discretion, what you want to list there. Um, and then sign off appropriately, as you'd expect to when communicating with a, a colleague. For each of those tasks, there is then a marking criteria. So you can look at these to make sure that you feel you have answered the questions or the tasks to the appropriate amount of detail. Once you submit this, your tutor will give you and allocate you appropriate marks. You need to score the minimum marks for each task, but you also then need to score minimum marks for the worksheet overall. So if you, you, for example, you may score 18 out of 21, but if task two, you've only achieved seven out of 12, then that will be a refer. Your tutor will allocate you either a pass or refer by highlighting the outcome and then provide you with written and or video feedback in the box provided.